what are the three pillars of web 3.0 before that what is web 3.0 why it is important for you and me to understand this concept we will know answer to all these questions in this video welcome to unfold data science my name is aman and i am a data scientist so guys when we learn about ai machine learning deep learning blockchain any emerging technology right um, it also becomes important for us to know about what are the new things coming in the technology space apart from these right because maybe knowingly or unknowingly we might be using those things maybe we don't want to use but you know entire technology landscape is moving in such a way that we'll have to use those things okay hence it is important to understand how these things work what are some pluses and minuses what are the things we should consider how much of you know uh, control we should give to our data how much of uh, security layer we can create as a consumer as a, as a end consumer how should we approach these things right so let's discuss few basic stuff about web 3.0 now guys there are reasons why web, web 3.0 is so much in news so much in demand so much in discussion and i am expecting the acceptability or usability of web 3.0 web 3.0 is going to be huge there is a reason for that guys okay so there is whole lot of uh, hype created that there are few central authorities who are controlling your data in a way that they can do anything with your data and that is true also for example uh, suppose i want to run an ad on facebook suppose i want to you know uh, run an ad of this video i'm creating now on facebook so i just have to tell to facebook that hey i want to run this ad take thousand rupees from me and run this ad facebook will automatically choose the people understand this guys facebook will automatically choose the people to whom ad should be shown to whom this video is relevant now imagine what level of data facebook is having for the people that it shows only to the relevant people without me even saying it is male or female what age group what demographics what interest area what keywords in their profile nothing facebook wants okay based on facebook's own algorithm it will select the people and show the ads what people are interested in people like you and me they are not happy with this much of control on their data by a central authority such that facebook or such that google and that is where there is a lot of you know love coming for the web3 now what is web3 guys there are three basic pillars of web3 first is your decentralization and blockchain okay so what is decentralization and blockchain as i told you there will not be a central authority which will control everything just like facebook is there google is there they control your data they they store your data they show you when they want tomorrow if they don't want they may put you charge for showing your data only possible right so this central authority thing should not be there that is decentralization and blockchain is the you know um, in the technology landscape blockchain is the architecture or blockchain is the area blockchain is the concept that will support this decentralization in a fast reliable and secure way that is your first pillar of what will make web 3.0 okay up to here it's very good it sounds very good nobody will have a central control on the data nobody will have a central you know authority on the data nobody can use the data in a bad way second pillar of web 3.0 is you know security and personalization personalization i'll give you one example suppose um, when you scroll through facebook right you might be seeing many ads and some of these ads you don't want to see at all for example uh maybe a medical test ad okay so get your medical test done in 900 rupees you don't want to see that ad at all if you want to do a medical test you will go and do in your choice of clinic you don't want to see that but you have a very little control on what you want to see what you don't want to see okay so this is not very personalized if user can control this if user can make it very very personal to himself or herself make it very very specific and relevant to himself or herself that is another feature or another offering that web 3.0 will have the reason for that is you cannot show me anything that i don't want to see okay and security is the point which people are talking about the reason being uh, all the data all the information of aman will be controlled by aman only so suppose i put a facebook profile photo just an example i am giving 
until or unless I want somebody to see that or download that, nobody can see or download that. Okay. So this is another pillar of your web 3.0 landscape. One becomes your decentralization, other becomes your hyper personalization and security. And the third feature is obviously artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, whatever you call it. Okay. So today, maybe if you want to book a flight from Delhi to Pune, you have to uh, go to make my trip, go to Yatra, go to different different platforms, search, compare tickets, you know, price, compare your timing, compare many things and then you take a call, maybe you spend like two, three hours. But there might be features coming in Web.3 which will just take your information. Imagine a bot, right? So to the bot, you can say in the plain human language, hey, find the ticket for me Delhi to uh, Bangalore or whatever place you want to go. And this time duration, my ticket budget is this plus minus 10% deviation is fine. Don't go beyond that. It should not be a night flight. I should reach Delhi at this time. All those information in human language you give to a bot kind of input and it will do the job for you in like five minutes. So this is AI implementation, machine learning implementation, deep learning implementation, automation. So another example can be you want to find out something which is very, very relevant or specific to you. For example, you want to find out uh, running shoes you want to purchase, right? And you want to purchase in the in the offline store, not on an online store. You give that information I want from an offline store. I'm looking for these, these brands, which store I should go for. So maybe based on the location, GPS, store rating that that artificial intelligence robot will compare. It will compare the prices and it will give you a recommendation. So, you know, one one advanced level of what you call AI and ML implementation. So three pillars of your Web3 blockchain and uh, decentralization your security and personalization and AI and ML. Now, there are a lot of advantages that we have spoken till now, but there are some disadvantages as well, guys. Okay. Suppose all of us have our own control on what we write on the internet. Just an example. All of us has control on what we write on the internet. Then I can go and write anything about anyone, be it a hate speech, be it abusing someone, be it some bad comments about someone, be it some fake news, be it what not, right? We can write whatever we want. There is no central authority to control what we are writing. I can write a blog post on any person and I can make it public and I can just say some, you know, false facts, all those things. So if there is no central authority, right, then the then the who will control the things or who will tell what is right and what is wrong? Everybody is their own boss, right? So that is one downside of this te technology. Other downside of this technology is lot of heavy dependency on virtual world. Okay, so what will happen is when Web3 comes and when, uh, you know, blockchain spreads and when metaverse comes and when all these things come, right, then maybe people will spend because it is giving you lot of fun and lot of enjoyment and lot of, you know, uh, what you call it, thrill to use internet, to use things in a faster way. You may be getting addicted to it and maybe your personal life, your friend circle, your your physical actual life might get little disturbed with this. Okay. But how the things are looking right now, we may be moving towards Web3 because all these supporting technologies are already there. Whatever we spoke about, right? It is already there. We might be moving towards it. We have to be careful about positives and negatives both so that we learn ourselves. We can tell to the our you know younger siblings or whoever is there at home right we can tell to our friends these are few things you should be aware of these are few things which is good take advantage of this do not fall in trap of that lot of you know traps may be there lot of uh, uh, different kind of internet attacks may come right cyber attacks may come all those things we should be careful we should understand what is technology we should understand what is the landscape but we should be careful what is not right. Okay. So this is the high level understanding of Web3 guys. I wanted to give you from this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please drop me a comment. What are your feelings on Web3? And I'll see you all in the next video guys. Wherever you are, stay safe and take care.